uh, in this work, uh, we provide a high resolution angle estimate approach for millimeter wave uh, MIMO systems. Uh, especially for millimeter wave communication systems, to have the uh, knowledge of the ac accurate channel knowledge at the transmitter is very important to, uh, to, to, to form very narrow beams for data channel communications. So in this paper uh, and in this work, uh, we proposed a new uh, channel directional information estimation method for millimeter wave uh, systems. And this is the general uh, system model we considered here. Uh, it is a hybrid uh, pre-coded uh, MIMO structure uh, with both uh, baseband and uh, analog pre-coding and combining parts uh, in this system model. But we would like to uh, uh, note that in our proposed uh, channel estimation method, we only consider uh, analog part pre-coding and combining. That is, we only use uh, analog beams to estimate the channel's angle of departure and angle of arrival. And the, uh, as we can see that uh, in, the, in the hybrid uh, architecture, uh, it is important to have this channel state information that we can further optimize the baseband precoding matrices or even analog uh, precoding matrices. And uh, we, here we would like to review uh, some of the prior works on channel estimation for millimeter wave MIMO systems. Uh, we categorize these approaches in three uh, groups. And the first one is the compressing based approach. And the, third, the second one is subspace based method. And the third one is the uh, uh, so called uh, grid of beams based method. And uh, all these approaches can provide uh, good channel estimation performance for millimeter wave channels. But the major problem of these approaches is that uh, they can only provide uh, they cannot provide high-resolution estimates of the channel's angle of departure or even angle of arrival because uh, all of these approaches, the performance of all of these approaches are subject to the uh, grid resolution, which will provide a quantization error of the angle estimates. So the main, main motivation of our proposed approach is, to, is that uh, we would like to provide uh, high-resolution estimates of the uh, AOD and AOA, uh, which are not subjected to the uh, grid uh, resolution. And here uh, we provide one example of the uh, prior work, the uh, grid of beam based approach. That is, uh, usually, uh, for example, if we want to estimate the channel's AOD, the base station or even or the transmitter form a grid of beams, and each 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 beam uh, steers towards a predefined angular direction. And uh, the receiver, uh, after the receiver receives all of these beams, the receiver will pick up the beam that has the highest uh, received signal power. But as you can see from this picture that uh, there's a quantization error between the uh, actual AOD and the quantized AOD. Uh, this quantization error is mainly brought by the, uh, uh, the, 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 the formation of these beams. And uh, the, degree of, the, the degree of this quantization error depends on the beam width of these beams. And another uh, angle estimation approach is, was also developed uh, in monopulse radar systems uh, ser uh, year, years ago. And uh, in this approach, uh, the monopulse radar approach can provide a high resolution uh, angle estimation. As you can see that uh, the main objective of monopulse radar is to detect the target position use pairs of beams. As we can see that uh, the monopulse radar uh, props uh, two beams, uh, which we call as uh, uh, one sum beam and one difference beam. And the, uh, the projections of the echo signals of these two beams, uh, we can derive a so-called uh, amplitude comparison uh, which is a metric that, are, that will be used uh, to derive the uh, high resolution estimate of the angle. And we can, uh, we can see that uh, using this approach, uh, high resolution angle estimates can be obtained by using uh, these pairs of beams. And uh, we would like to uh, extend this pair beam approach uh, in millimeter wave communication system to provide high resolution estimates of the channel. And because 
uh, the, the beam pair design for multipulse radar is not suited for communication system. Uh, we custom designed the beam pairs and also develop a set of feedback and quantization methods that can better support this beam pair based method uh, in millimeter wave communication systems. And uh, on this page, uh, we provide uh, an example of the design principle for our proposed approach using beam pairs to uh, estimate the angle of the channel. Uh, for simplicity, here we only assume a single channel, a single path channel, and we only provide this example for the AOD estimation. And uh, the estimation of the AOA can be uh, equally applied at the receiver side using the same design principles. As we can see from this figure, uh, actually out of the transmitter, we also form a set of beams. Uh, the beam, the, the, steer, the steering directions of these beams are consecutive in the angular domain. And the beam pattern of these beams, they have the same form as the uh, array response vectors for the linear array. In, in comparison with the conventional grid of beam based approach in which uh, the, the, the highest power beam will be selected and the steering direction of the selected beam will be treated as the uh, AOD, uh, we consider uh, pairs of beams. For example, as, you, uh, as can be seen in this figure, we select two beams uh, as a beam pair. And we can see that uh, these two beams are consecutive in the angular domain. That is the steering directions of these two beams are consecutive in the angular domain. And uh, the receiver receives these two beams and calculates the received signal power with respect to each of the beam in the beam pair. And after, uh, after the receiver calculates the received powers of these two beams, the receiver will calculate a so-called uh, power ratio metric. Uh, that is, uh, that will be, uh, that is the, uh, a ratio metric uh, calculated using these two beams. And the details of this power ratio metric calculation uh, is illustrated here. And we can see that uh, we have uh, Y delta and Y sigma. Uh, these are the two received signals with respect to uh, the two beams. And then we calculate chi sigma and chi uh, delta as the received signal powers of these two beams. Then we calculate uh, the power ratio metric, which is the ratio between the, the difference between the power of these two beams divided by the sum of the power of these two beams. And the, the, the key ingredient of this approach is that uh, if we properly form these two beams, uh, as I have introduced before, these two beams have the same form as the array, re array response vectors, then the ratio metric is uh, monotonically uh, increasing function of the AOD to be estimated. That is, it is invertible with respect to the AOD to be estimated. Then the receiver, after obtaining this ratio metric, the receiver can quantize this ratio metric using a predefined codebook and feed it this, this quantized uh, value back to the transmitter. And the transmitter can use this ratio metric to uh, retrieve the AOD because uh, the ratio metric is, is invertible with respect to the AOD. So these are the uh, key ingredients of the beam pair based high resolution angle estimation approach. And there are several quantization options. Uh, the receiver can either uh, quantize the ratio metric and feedback the, the quantized version of the ratio metric back to the transmitter, or the receiver can also uh, use the uh, ratio metric to directly estimate the channel and feed feed back the estimated AOD back to the uh, transmitter. The interesting thing is that uh, here the ratio metric uh, is a nonlinear function of the uh, power difference and the power sum. So it, it has a nonlinear distribution for a given uh, interval, which is uh, minus one to one. And therefore, we can further optimize the code book to quantize this uh, ratio metric such that uh, more code words can be densely distributed uh, within uh, the, the dense distribution of, uh, of this interval. In this example, we can see that uh, the ratio metric is uh, densely distributed within the intervals of uh, minus one to minus 0.8 and 0.8 to one. 
So more code words can be distributed within these two intervals. And uh, this uh, page provides a general procedures of how to use the so-called uh, beam pair approach to provide high resolution of the angle estimates. And first of all, the base station will form uh, beam pairs. And after the receiver receives those beam pairs, a set of ritual metrics will be calculated uh, for each beam pair. And the ritual metric with the highest uh, re received signal power will, will be quantized and fact to the base station. And after the base station obtains the quantized ritual metric, the base station will invert the ritual metric to retrieve the uh, AOD to be estimated. And here we provide uh, several application scenarios for our proposed uh, approach. So the first application scenario is the uh, control channels beam forming. Uh, because for control channels beam, beam forming, we want to minimize the uh, delay of the control channel communications. So in our approach, because uh, our approach can provide high resolution estimation of the channel's direction information, then we can facilitate the control channels beam forming such that uh, the beams finding approach uh, can be facilitated by using the high resolution estimates of the channel directional information. And uh, here we provide uh, the procedures for the control channels beam forming. And you can see that uh, in comparison to the grid of beam based approach, uh, based on the high resolution estimates of the angle information of our proposed approach, we can facilitate the beam finding approach for control channel beam forming, which in turn will reduce the access delay of the uh, network. And the other application scenario of the uh, a proposed approach is that uh, for hybrid precoding uh, data channels communication. Uh, the hybrid precoding for data communication will also rely on accurate estimates of the channel's angle information. Because our proposed approach can provide high resolution angle estimates of the channel, then the uh, baseband precoding and uh, analog precoding, or even baseband combining and uh, analog combining can be further optimized based on the accurate estimates of the channel directional information. And here we provide uh, the numerical results uh, of our proposed approach to evaluate uh, how our proposed approach can provide uh, accurate angle estimation of the channel. And the channel uh, here, we assume a multi-path channel, and there are a total of uh, six uh, paths. And in this figure, we provide the mean squared error of the AOD estimation under different setups of the number of transmit antennas and receive antennas. And we can see that uh, with, increase the, with increasing the number of transmit antennas, that is, um, uh, relatively narrow beams are formed for angle estimation. The MIC performance of the angle estimation will be improved. And in general, we can see that uh, the proposed approach can provide a very good angle estimation performance under this multipath channel. And on this slide, we provide the spectral efficiency performance uh, using the estimated angle because uh, in our previous slides, we have introduced our design principles only for the single path channel. And in, in, and in here, we evaluate our proposed approach in a multipath channel to see how our proposed approach will work to estimate uh, multiple paths. Here, we, we, al we also consider the same channel setup as the previous uh, evaluation results. We have six path channel model and the AOD and AOA are uniformly distributed for a given angular range. And we can see that uh, our proposed approach can provide uh, a good estimation performance of multiple angles such that uh, for multi-stream transmission using the estimates of uh, multiple channels estimation, the performance difference between, the, uh, between uh, our propo proposed approach and the optimal uh, setup is marginal for different uh, antenna setups. In conclusion, uh, in our work, uh, we developed an approach that can provide a high resolution angle estimation for millimeter wave communication systems 
uh, which are different from the conventional grid or beam based approach, which can only provide uh, quantized angle estimation. And uh, we, we, we extend the beam pair idea uh, that was previously developed in multipulse radar systems uh, to, we, we further extend this approach to further uh, design the code book and the quantization method and feedback methods and also the beam pattern design that can better suit it for communication systems. And we also pointed out uh, several application scenarios of our proposed approach. The first one is the control channels beam forming and the second one is data channel uh, communications. And the future work, uh, we are considering to extend our proposed approach uh, to arbitrary antenna array geometry because we, he, uh, here we only consider the linear array. And we'll also consider TD systems to exploit the channel reciprocity to further enable millimeter wave MIMO precoding. And because in our, in our, in our work, we only consider a single RF chain uh, beam forming, that is the beams are propped in a time division multiplexing manner. And in our future work, we'll consider how to simultaneously form uh, multiple beams to do the uh, beam pair based angle estimation to support, uh, to better support uh, channel estimation in millimeter wave system to facilitate the entire process. Thank you.